What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 35 of the tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway Tutorial. In part 34 of this tutorial series, we have integrated the DynamoDB table with the API Gateway and we were successfully able to insert the data into that Dynamo table. So now in this tutorial, I will take you through on how to query DynamoDB table using API Gateway. So to query the data, we will create the get method under the same resource that we have created in part 34 of this tutorial series. So that is, as you can see on my screen, the resource name is put dynamo data. So we will create the get method under that resource, right, to query the dynamo table. So let's get started. So select the resource, click on action, say create method, select get method and click on this tick mark. Now once it is done, it will ask us for the integration type. So within integration type, we will say AWS service. Select the AWS region. So in my case, it's US H1. Select the AWS service that is going to be the Dynamo. We will leave AWS subdomain as it is. Within HTTP method, it's going to be post, right? So to query the data from the Dynamo table, we need to pass on some sort of uh, JSON structure uh, format data to get the uh, queried data, right? To query the DynamoDB table. So that's the reason it's the post method. Within action type, we will say use action name and within action, what we want to do, that is we want to query the Dynamo table. So it's going to be the query, right? And within execution role, uh, we will use the same IAM role that we have created in the previous tutorial. So copy the ARN of that role and paste it over here. We will leave rest of the option as it is and click on save. Now, once we are done with this, again, click on the integration request, scroll down to the mapping templates. And here again, we are going to define the mapping template, right? So we want to transform the request, right? So we will select the second option and we will say add mapping template. We will say application slash JSON and click on this tick mark. Now here within template, we will define a template saying the very first parameter is going to be the table name. So table name. That is API demo followed by the key condition expression. So that's going to be the key condition expression colon. So basically the key condition expression parameter is to provide a specific value for the partition key, right? So our partition key was ID, right? And we will refer that value as version one or V one, or it can be anything, right? Followed by the expression attribute values, expression attribute values, colon, a dictionary here. We will dereference the value. So that's going to be the colon version one, right? So basically using expression attribute values to substitute value in an expression, right? So basically a colon character is used in an expression to dereference an attribute value, right? So this colon version one will refer to the ID, right? Followed by colon dictionary. Now here it will be followed by the data types that is string followed by the value. So here uh, we will fetch the value uh, from the query string parameter, right? So here basically we will be passing the condition, right? So for example, uh, we have ID 123 and we want to fetch the data for ID 123, right? So we will pass on that value as a part of the query string parameter that we want to fetch the record for ID 123 and it should be able to do that, right? 
so this is basically a condition we are defining so we will say dollar input colon params followed by single quote so we will define a uh, query string parameter as id so i will say id over here and i think we are done with this uh, mapping template so go ahead and save this now once it is saved we are good to redeploy the api so click on action say deploy api select the deployment stage say deploy now let's go ahead and try to test this so copy the invocation url navigate to postman i will open a new tab saying paste slash put dynamo data followed by the query string parameter that is id right equal to so let me copy the existing id from the dynamo db table so that i can query and fetch the record successfully so i will paste this id over here and i will say send now here it return access denied exception because api gateway don't have permission to query the dynamo db table right so for that we need to go back to iam management console and we need to modify this api underscore dynamo db policy right so here within action we need to add that permission so that api gateway can successfully uh, query the dynamo table right so for that we need to click on policy from the left panel and open the policy that we have created in the last tutorial that is in part 34 so in my case it's api dynamo db so click on that edit a policy and here we will click on json now here below dynamo db put item say comma enter and we will say dynamo db colon followed by query right so here basically we are giving a permission so that api gateway can query the dynamo db table right so now we will save this review policy and save changes now let's try again so go back to postman say send so as you can see it returns status code 200 and uh, within response we have the record that we want to fetch for the given id within the query string parameter right along with the uh, other key value pair that is message hello token as src e c d e right so basically this is how you can fetch the data from the dynamo table using api gateway right now again uh, for example maybe not for example so since uh, we are fetching the data uh, or we are fetching the value from the query string parameter you might want to go to method request and define the url query string parameter over here saying id and click on the stick mark saying it is required and to validate that whether user has passed the query string parameter or not you can modify this request validator saying click on this a pencil icon and say validate query string parameters and headers and click on the stick mark and redeploy this api right so that uh, we can make sure that user is passing the required parameters right while calling the api so well uh, that's all i wanted to cover in this tutorial and till that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.